Hey guys, CES here. My mic is finally working. And I haven't no I know I haven't made a video in a while, but you know. Uh school started and all that stuff, you know, COVID nineteen and everything. But anyway, I'll update you on the, um, that uh, at the end of the video. This is gonna be a review this is also gonna be a review video about the Nintendo Direct that came out today. Um this was actually a pretty amazing direct for the 35th anniversary of Super Mario Brothers. I also want to review some things that were, you know, discussed in this direct. So first, we have Game & Watch. A Game & Watch. So this is actually really cool because the gaming, uh, like the last Game & Watch, I think it came out in like 83. And, you know, it is like a... It's a cool little device for like collectors that you know, like love money. And it even has the Yoshi Super Mario World sprites. It's also a clock. And then now, and then Super Mario 3D World. I was surprised because I I already knew. Well, yeah, I, I already knew that I was going to become a Switch somehow because you know it's a Wii U game. Like most all you all. Most Wii U games come to the Switch, because, you know, the Wii U was kind of a failure, and then the Switch about the Wii U, and then all, like, all of Nintendo IP Wii U games came to Wii U, like, most of them. Like, for example, uh, Splatoon, Splatoon 2, Mario 3D, Mario 3D World come to the Switch, Mario Bros. U, Mario Bros. U Deluxe for that, and... Yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, Paper Mario the Origami King. I'm not really sure if it's like an upbringing of Color Splash. I'm not sure, but you got Mario 3 World, and plus with this add-on, uh, it's called Bowser's Fury. Um, and then this Battle Royale Mario game, Super Mario Bros. 35. I'm gonna get this when it comes out. Um, I might kick some ass in it. And then we have. Oh yeah, this Mario Kart game. This is like a AR thing that so like this this is basically um like a remote control thing that's coming to Switch. I I wasn't really gonna expect it because we already had Nintendo Labo, but that's outdated. And then I'm gonna be doing this Mario Kart Tour event right here. I might get this clothing. I don't, I don't live in New York, though. I'm gonna be doing this. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this Mario Maker 2 level. I'm gonna be doing this tournament. Um, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna get the levels. I I also played Mario All Stars on the Switch earlier, and then I don't know if I'm gonna get the collection. Because you know we have emulators and all that, but it's cool that uh, with Mario Galaxy you can play with two Joy Cons, so it's like a nunchuck and a weird mode. Like that, that's really cool. So basically, um, I don't have uh, my weird mode and nunchuck right now, but I do switch right now. Like basically, you can just do this. And like it's just really cool because you know, you know so and, like it'll act like it's the weird one. Uh, you know, yeah. if you don't uh, have the 3D collection, you can just put up Dolphin and then get Mario Galaxy and play with Joy Cons, and you're gonna have to just software. And then so. Yeah, that's basically it. And, um. I don't really know when Breath of the Wild 2 is coming up, but I'm pretty sure they might do that soon. Uh, also, update. I did the Wall Start School, all that, so videos might not get out earlier. I still didn't forget about the Snapboard RNG videos. Those will still probably be coming out, and there's a surprise video that I'm trying to do. That I've been planning since like two years ago. I haven't really. Well, I did 
uh, well, I didn't start my Sims 3, but I started it June 14, 2019, but I deleted that video. You guys probably saw that. Uh, yeah, that was supposed to be, like, a surprise. I deleted it, and I returned to my channel a year later. So, yeah. Uh, that's the update. Expect, don't really expect that much more videos. School did start. And, uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace.